iron in the soul. What's up, YouTube? This is your big brother, King Jabez. Back today with another very important message. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, leave a comment, let me know what's taken about my content. In addition to that, please feel free to follow me over on Instagram as well as my website, thearmsoul.com. Whatever you decide to do, it will be greatly appreciated. Let's do some work. Today's video is entitled, Your Pain is the Ticket to Your Wealth. It's not what you go through, but it's how you decide to come out. You see, Iron in a Soul is the name of my channel, but it's also really the heartbeat of my whole program over here. Everything I do. Iron in a Soul literally comes from the Word of God. It's referring to Joseph. And Joseph literally went through so much pain that it was like iron literally hitting his soul. And the iron didn't make him bitter. It didn't make him hateful. You see, you can't be iron in the soul if you're hateful. You can't be iron in the soul if you're bitter. Iron in the soul is when your hardship makes you, it doesn't break you. When you come out of all of that bad stuff and you're still kind, you're still loving, you still show grace, you still help people. That's when you know your pain has made you. It did not break you. And that's what it's all about. Letting that hard stuff that comes our way make us better people. Strengthen our character. Sharpen our minds. Make us physically strong. This is the ticket to your wealth. When we become bitter, we become the type of people that folks don't want to be around. But when we become wise, strong, refined, intelligent, this makes us like literally gold on the earth. And that's what many of you are becoming more and more day by day. And sometimes we become that by receiving some assistance, some guidance, some help, some instruction, some free game. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. It is a great option if you're considering personal therapy. I refer to myself on this platform as your big brother. And as your big bro, I have to be honest, I spent many years prior to getting on YouTube working on my mental health. So I had people who I met with once a week for an hour, two hours at a time to talk about life and to get solutions to college, dating advice, marriage, how to be a father. So I had a lot of people who helped me become who I am today. And this is why I'm excited to share today's sponsor. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy accessible and affordable. And it's going to be difficult when you may have limited options. Hey, let's be honest, we're all human. And if you're struggling in the area of depression, anxiety, as I have, as anyone else, you know, this is a great option for you to really work on, as I mentioned before, that next big move. And for some of you, this is that next big move to really spend some time each week focusing on yourself. What did I tell you all the time? Worry about yourself. And so here's an opportunity to do that in a very real, practical and efficient way with a professional person that can help you really clarify your mindset, which leads to your vision and direction in life. BetterHelp makes it easy to sign up. It is an online platform to find a therapist online. Uh, you have a few questions you may answer. They can match up with someone. And hey, if it doesn't work out, you can switch up kind of like online dating. <laughs> so if it doesn't work, you can go to another therapist within the same network. It's easy to sign up and get matched up with a therapist. There's a link in my description. It's betterhelp.com slash iron in the soul. Clicking the link helps support this channel, but you also get 10% off your first month of therapy with better help i've shared my own personal story how therapy has helped transform my life and so if you are struggling in this area click the link in the description betterhelp.com slash iron and soul and i believe this can really transform your life thanks again better help for sponsoring and supporting this channel when i think about this video i think about a number of people whose pain and adversity made them the people we respect love and admire ct fletcher comes to mind ct fletcher for those who don't know is a very well-known YouTuber. He is a fitness expert. He's like one of the OGs of the fitness lane. I watch him. I've watched the videos for a while now. A lot of men I know watch his content. He has inspired people all over the earth. And part of it was from his upbringing. He's from Compton. And he went through a lot of hardship. He had a father who used to beat him all the time. I mean, he would beat him all the time. And, and you know, was overly religious. And all that pain was C.T. Fletcher said to himself as a young man, I wanted to be the biggest, baddest mm, that you want to see in Compton. And many people refer to him today as the Compton Superman. You know, he's respected. He has over a million subscribers on YouTube, a lot over on Instagram. He has the respect of people all over the earth because he allowed that iron in the soul to make him shrunk 
right? He didn't become weaker. He didn't become a bitter person. He took all that pain and it fueled him to become this very strong human that has inspired others, not just to lift weights, but to live a life of character, to be strong people, to overcome adversity. See, this is the power you have when you let your pain teach you. I mean, we could talk about so many people. We could talk about Abraham Lincoln, who lost a public office, I think it was 12, 14 times before he eventually won and became the president of the United States. We could talk about athletes like Kobe Bryant and the bullying he went through through Shaq. Yeah, Shaq, you was bullying him. You know you was, my boy. Bullying Kobe and how Kobe became excellent from that. So we could talk about athletes. We could talk about presidents. We could talk about pastors and leaders. Most Christian leaders didn't become that until they went through something. A lot of you wouldn't even believe in the Bible or God had it not been for your suffering and pain. So most of us can identify with this message. Our wealth, and wealth isn't just always money, but the value you bring to the earth. It's not just about dollars. It's about the value you bring. I give you guys a wealth of wisdom over here on this platform because I allow my pain to make me a better person, not a bitter person. Um, if I was bitter, respectfully, you guys wouldn't be following me. At least I hope you wouldn't, you know. And I'm going to be honest, the suffering I've been through in my life, and this is not to have a pity party for Brother Iron, but the suffering I've been through, you know, that's why I call this channel Iron the Soul. This is about my life. A lot of iron hit my soul, and I won't go to the details right now for obvious reasons, but the iron in my soul was very painful, of course, and I'm going to be honest, your big brother could have very easily became just this bitter person who only cared about myself, but I made a constant decision with that pain that hurt so bad that I don't necessarily want other people to feel what I felt. And, and if I can warn you, that's why I call myself a big brother. If I can warn you and not shield you from reality, because that's not going to help you either, because there's certain things you're going to experience, no matter how many videos you watch. You can watch a million videos and certain realities are gonna, you're going to face. This is life. But if I can help you to um, navigate through that and to help you to prevent some you know, errors that you can prevent, then I'm going to do that. And that's what makes me a big brother on this platform. I'm going to take my pain and adversity, what I've been through in my life, and the wisdom I've gained through study, through reflection, both formally as well as my own personal personal study and devotion, um, that is wealth. It's giving you a wealth of knowledge and wisdom. So the wealth can be knowledge. The wealth can be your physical appearance. It could be you know, your talent. It is something you have that you give the earth. And all of us have to figure out what that is. And often, pain seems to be the journey there. So I, I want to really give some context to you listening to this message now. If you're going through, I think it was Winston Churchill said this, if you're going through hell, keep going, right? If you're going through hell right now, if you're going through hardship, you say, man, big bro, I need this message. <laughs> I'm talking to you now. If you are going through my boy, sis, keep going because that's your ticket. This is the journey. You, you bought the ticket. You, you thought you're going, you're going somewhere, right? You're on this path and that pain, that's your ticket on this train. You know, the train being your destiny, the train being your future, your plans, what you want to do with your life, where you want to be five, 10 years from now. The reality is hardship is on that path. And I know that I wouldn't be who I am today had it not been for the iron to hit my soul at 17. You guys who follow my journey, um, <laughs> my first actual hip hop song I recorded was entitled, entitled Iron and Soul. I did this song close to three years ago. And I think the first lines, if I can remember, I should know my own song. The Iron Hit My Soul, 17 on the new. YBM, Independent, Rockin' State Blues. And so what am I articulating in that song is that the Iron Hit My Soul is a 17-year-old young man who was trapped in the streets and what comes with that, you know, on the new. You know what that means. And from that journey starting then to now, all of that iron has been used by God, myself, people, mentors, all types of individuals to shape my character, to, to change the way I think, to help me to work on those seeds we talked about, character, compassion, conversation, how you conduct yourself, all the things we talked about on my channel for the last uh, four years now, almost, you know, being physically fit, spiritually strong, mentally, prayer life, fasting, everything I've been teaching you guys and ladies, that's Iron the Soul. And so I hope this video is of help to you. I hope you should leave this feeling inspired and ready to really tackle your problems, your challenges in life with strength and allowing the iron in the soul to make you strong as iron versus being a bitter person. That's all I have for you today. 
This is your big brother, King Jabez. Thanks for listening. God bless. Peace.